Hello and welcome to this episode of Nemitz Answers, where we are going to have a look at some of the most frequently asked questions on Google on a variety of subjects that are close to the IEA's heart. In this episode, we're going to have a look at social democracy. The first question is, is social democracy socialism? No, it's not. A hundred years ago, you could have said broadly yes, or rather, a hundred years ago, a social democrat would simply have been a socialist who believed in parliamentary democracy and in a gradual transformation towards socialism. So back then, you could have treated them as, if not the same, then at least closely related. But that has changed in the meantime. Today, they are completely different ideologies. Social democracy is a form of capitalism with a large welfare state and extensive provision of public services, but still clearly a market economy, whereas socialism means collective ownership of the means of production and therefore a non-capitalist economy. So today they are clearly very different. Next question, is social democracy left? It has uh, historically been associated with uh, left-wing parties, although there is no logical reason for that. You could in principle have a centre-right party or a right-wing party that is social democratic on economic policy issues. And there are examples of that. Uh, because if social democracy is simply a market economy with an extensive welfare state, then you could say almost all Western countries today are to varying degrees social democratic. And to the extent that right-wing and centre-right parties uphold that kind of system, then they are also to varying degrees social democratic. So it has been more associated with the left historically, but it doesn't have to be that way logically. Third question, is social democracy good? Okay, that is uh, slightly trickier because it depends on what you compare it to. If the alternative is socialism, then social democracy is brilliant because you still have the market element and that is the part that matters. Any form of capitalism is better than any form of socialism. But if you compare social democracy to more liberal versions of capitalism, then I would say it doesn't look so good anymore. Defenders of social democracy would usually point to the Scandinavian countries as success stories, to Denmark and Sweden in particular. And that's not wrong. These are capitalist economies with uh, large welfare states and uh, very generously funded public services. And they are also prosperous and successful economies. Uh, so you can point to those as successful examples. It's just that there's nothing unique about Sweden or Denmark. There's nothing that special about them, or certainly not in a Western European context, because total public spending levels in Sweden and Denmark are not that different from the levels that we see in, say, Italy or Greece. It's just that you won't hear social democrats uh, point to those examples as success stories, because they are just much more mixed cases, and uh, it's not so clear-cut whether they are successful. So therefore, um, th there's a bit of cherry-picking going on when you say, ah, Sweden and Denmark work well, therefore social democracy is brilliant. It's more that it's a kind of model which works in, in high-trust societies uh, like Scandinavia um, and where they also get lots of other things right. If you look at other economic policy indicators such as uh, the, the soundness of the legal system and um, the functioning of the rule of law, Scandinavian economies are always at the very top of any ranking list, whether that's the, uh, the, the World Bank's doing business indicator or the Economic Freedom Index, they just do well on a number of, um, of economic policy indicators. And that is what makes them successful rather than the social democracy. If they had less social democratic and more classical liberal economic models, um, I think it's quite feasible that they would be even more successful. So the, the comparison then would not be between uh, Sweden and Denmark on the one hand 
and one of the less well-run capitalist examples, but rather compare Sweden or compare Denmark to, for example, Switzerland, uh, which is also a high trust society, also doing well on all sorts of policy, economic policy indicators. Uh, then you have a better comparison and then you can see Switzerland is, uh, as a more liberal market economy, Switzerland is still uh, vastly more prosperous than Sweden or Denmark. So short summary, uh, social democracy is not terrible, but I think it's a bit overrated. The next question, is social democracy capitalism? I've already answered that. Yes, it is a particular form of capitalism, but it is still clearly within the spectrum of capitalist economies. Capitalism underpinned by a large welfare state and, um, and well-funded public services. Is social democracy and democratic socialism the same? Okay, I've kind of answered that uh, as well already. A hundred years ago, you could have said yes. Now they are vastly different. Uh, but since they have a common origin, what often happens is that social democrats would still feel a kind of affinity to socialists. So they would not see them as enemies necessarily, even though they have disagreements with them, but they still feel that they are broadly on the same team, even though that is often not the case in reverse. A lot of socialists uh, see social democrats very much as the enemy and have uh, this, uh, this is new, this has been the case for a long time. Next question, is social democracy centrist? Um, that goes back to the question, is social democracy left? Yes, it is. Historically, it has been associated with politically the center left, broadly speaking. So not the far left. You wouldn't describe a far left organization as uh, a social democratic, but you can use that label for center left uh, or maybe even centrist parties. But as I said, you could in principle have a party that is socially conservative, conservative on lots of issues, but also, that also believes in a generous welfare state and uh, some degree of, um, of economic interventionism and such a party could uh, be right-wing on social issues uh, but still social democratic, so they're not at all incompatible. Next question, is social democracy the same as socialism? Okay, that we've already answered extensively, that's a clear no. Is social democracy liberal? Uh, well, liberal in the American sense. In American English, liberal has uh, over time moved away from the meaning of classical liberalism and it's acquired the meaning of uh, center-left progressivism. So not left in the sense of far left, but um, someone like Bill Clinton would be a liberal in the American sense. Uh, Obama would perhaps be the prime example of a liberal in the American sense. And in European terms, you could broadly describe them as social democrats. So it's liberal uh, in the American sense. It's not liberal in the sense of classical liberalism. Although even here, there's no clear distinction. You could have a classical liberal who is comfortable with some degree of redistribution. Uh, that would be the so-called bleeding heart libertarians. And there you could say, well, the distinction between those and a market-friendly social democrat is not so clear cut. So it's a difference in degree rather than a difference of principle. And a final question. Is social democracy socialism or capitalism? Well, okay, that we've answered. It is capitalism, but a particular form of capitalism. That's it for today. Thank you for watching. Well, if you enjoyed that conversation, why not watch one of these other videos? And while you're here, remember to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. That way, you'll never miss out on a single IEA broadcast.